We have a ticket 7521 and we are doing a, um, an assessment with the leak light. It's got a couple of leaks like all horns do. Uh, the stacks are not seated and not regulated. Um, when we go around the back of the left stack, you can see very clearly, and I can uh, zoom in a bit, it's very clearly that it's hitting first right there with the B. And that's actually holding, you can see there, the front of it is open, so and that holds this open as well. Plus, the regulation of this is not right, which is not a um, it's not a tricky adjustment at all. Um, and we will get to that. We're going to give this this horn a little bit of a clean. The pads are really you can't see with the light shining through, but with the light off, let me just hold on to right now. We can see that the pads are all a little crusty. Little crusty. It's been played this horn. I can tell when a horn's been played because the pads get a little crusty. Now this is two years of playing, and um, we can see that yeah, it's starting to wear away. So this low E flat is a bit dodgy. We'll be going to be pulling this horn completely apart. It hasn't had a service since it was born into the uh, saxophone world, um, and we're going to dismantle it and clean everything and reassemble it and uh, seat everything and we're going to give it some clamps and then the next day or two later we are going to uh, regulate everything and do the adjustments lubricate play test further adjustments etc so that um let's zoom out so that everything is working like it should be it'll be thoroughly cleaned and all the pads will be thoroughly cleaned and we'll get rid of all these little leaks that are that are going on in the sacks. These guys are heating hard at the back, big time as well. As you can see, when we go around the back, it just hits first right down there. So that's right there. And same with this guy, hits hard at the back. But at the front, we have um, quite a gap there at the front, hitting hard at the back, out of regulation, hitting hard at the back. The C is the same. It's got some um, not seating. It's the not seating C. So playing like this, the bottom notes are really hard to get when that's going on. Um, easily, anyway. You can force, forcefully get the bottom notes. Everyone can force the notes out of the sax and we, and the bell key's out. So this bell is out of the line. We'll get this bell back in line. It's moved a little bit like they do as to wear and tear. Um, saxophone stands, etc. Um, and we're going to get this horn to sing like it should. At the moment, I don't think it's singing that great. Not sure about this relationship of the uh, tenon receiver. This is pretty loosey goosey as well. So this is uh, this is going to get um, fixed as well with our little machines that we fix these. There's tools fix neck tenons. And a tenon receivers, we get them so that they're nice and snug and working like they should with no movement here and no leaking here. And so it seals and plays and sounds sweet. At the moment, this horn would sound pretty splatty. That's what I call it, the splatty sounding horn. But they're great saxes, they're workhorses, but they've just got to be kept nice and uh, they must be playing like they should. This one's not.